What's going on guys? So t let me interrupt right here. Nice face, bro. This past weekend, I had the absolute privilege of hiking with some of the greatest backpacking YouTubers on YouTube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what it's really like behind the scenes and what really goes on behind the camera when you're hiking with backpacking YouTubers. Now, back to the video. Today we have kind of an interesting video for you because we are headed down to West Virginia to meet up with some other YouTubers. We got bad news. Oh no. You went the wrong way. Some of them have appeared on the channel before and some of them haven't. What are the so, chances? I do, that yeah, is like- realize didn't come down here. I know, right. uh, yeah, we almost- We're also supposed to get some like severe weather, I think the entire time we're there. So we'll see how that goes because the area is known for like ridiculous wind and we're supposed to get just dumped on with rain. We're lost, getting soaked. This is going to be interesting. Never allow yourself to get soaking wet and then get lost. Hopefully we make it back in one piece. But anyway, we've got about a four hour drive to get there and I'm not gonna film any because I gotta drive, but I guess we'll see you when we get there. And just like that, four hours later, we just pulled up and a storm is rolling through right now and there's supposed to be, I think, one behind it. Um, they're calling for severe thunderstorms. So I think I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. I was supposed to hike in, I think, and find a campsite, uh, but I'm gonna wait until this rain passes because I think the chance of thunderstorms goes down drastically after these two storms roll through. So, uh, well, let's hope that's the case. But anyway, it's definitely looking like it's gonna be a wet one. So the original plan was to meet here in this exact spot at 3 p.m. So look who decided to show up after uh, they said they were going to be here like two hours ago and then like an hour later they said that there were going to be another hour and then an hour passed. <laughs> <laughs> this place is hard to find. <laughs> and I was beginning to think that I'd just driven all the way down here for someone who didn't even exist. No, I but exist. Anyway, I exist. This is uh, Russ's Outdoors and uh, Timmy, Timmy. Apparently, unbeknownst to me, Timmy hates being called Timmy. From Restless Outdoors, right? You don't have a YouTube channel? Nope. No, he will. He will uh, eventually. He will eventually. <laughs> yeah, I think most of you guys have heard of Restless Outdoors before, right? <laughs> <laughs> some of you have. <laughs> yeah, some. Some of the uh, ones that want to kill me. Yeah, keep the death threats coming. <laughs> yeah, all the, yeah, keep all the death threats coming. I love it. So you find as the weekend goes, this is just a comedy of errors that happens. <laughs> <laughs> really nothing else. Mistake after mistake, yes. getting lost, arguing, arguing. Apparently, Restless Outdoors and Timmy have a strange ability of predicting the future on their backpacking trips. Because these words come back to haunt us. You know, I just filmed that. You can't film that. All right, hold on. I, I just can't. I just can't film this because. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna be here for the day. Yeah. The last hiker that didn't make it out. <laughs> the last hiker that, that parked where he shouldn't have. <laughs> That's what they do to uh, illegal parkers in West Virginia. Where are we going, Tim? We're gonna go up 511, up to that, up to the three juncture point. Oh, so we gotta hike. Okay, got it. Up to 511. So we're, tomorrow we're gonna come around come down the yellow, then do the purple, I'll camp there, and then four miles out. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's just sacred. It looked like a salad, like spot like this, and I just stepped and it's just like, boom, I was gone. Stinky, uh, a stinky mud here too, so. See, the trick is to go last, so you know where not to step. This is pretty much what the trail's been, just kind of rocky and, well, not too rocky, not compared to Pennsylvania, but it's definitely muddy. Glad it's not raining though. I'm glad it's not storming. Okay, so this is where he has us basically camping tonight. Well, we uh, can't find a campsite. I think there's one more trail down here. I might try and run down, but we're losing daylight pretty quick. It's not a huge deal. It's just, it would be nice because you know, the camera and everything have a little light, but might not have that luxury. Be a great sledding hill. What is that? So after stumbling around the woods for a while looking for a suitable campsite, we somehow managed to find ourselves in a ski resort. Oh, oh, this, is a ski. this is a ski resort. <laughs> I was like, this looks familiar, but I can't <laughs> put my finger in. I think this is the best spot. <laughs> 
there's like nothing back in there. So we kind of rushed around looking for a spot and when we finally found something, it was dark. Yeah, it's dark. I know you're not gonna be able to see me, but that's where I'm sleeping, hopefully. Might not be sleeping, but that's where I'm gonna be trying to sleep. So there were supposed to be a couple other YouTubers who were hiking in late, but no one ever showed up. At least, not yet. It got uh, dark on us really quick last night and didn't have time to film much. Uh, pretty much did nothing but sit around the campfire and chat up about YouTube and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, uh, we're not sure what we're gonna do today because uh, um, the several people who are supposed to come in never made it. So uh, we're trying to get a hold of them and see what's going on. So I guess we'll uh, catch back up with you in a second when we figure that out. Just making the morning coffee. <laughs> It was actually a really nice night last night. It uh, rained off and on all night, so uh, yeah, it was nice sleeping in that. Yeah, I'm terrible at making backpacking videos. We're <laughs> heading out now. <laughs> I think we're going to uh, Lion's Head. Uh, a couple of the guys didn't show up last night. Guess we'll uh, see if uh, one of them shows up today. So yeah, I guess we'll get on the trail. Over behind that bush is the elusive restless one. There he is. Dude, you got a way longer shot. <laughs> well, I didn't want to get your camera in my shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was, Tim was right though, like, you had Bryce and Wish and me. Like, literally, just fight. And Goat, too. Goat was filming. You're trying to get the view without everybody okay. else, like. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. And the feet are instantly wet. Dude, nothing dried out last night whatsoever. Everything's, like, completely soaked, but. Just how it is, I guess. This is pretty cool. It definitely doesn't look like it belongs on the East Coast, that's for sure. It's really nice hiking weather though. I don't know what the temperature is, probably mid 60s. I'll tell you one thing, I would not want to be up here during a thunderstorm. Okay, so we just got complete with the, uh, we were on the Harmon Trail? Yes. So we're just on the Harmon Trail here. And actually it was a nice trail. I mean, everything's soggy wet here, but rocky. But you're gonna have white feet here. Um, so where's this gonna take us, actually? This is gonna take us to Blackbird Knob. And then, we're gonna head that way to Blackbird Knob. Let me, and then down to 514. Let me look at the map real quick. Now it's pretty. I'm just gonna let these guys narrate from here on out. <laughs> you're pretty sure about where we're going? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> yeah. I know exactly where we are at all times. <laughs> Do <you>? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're both making fun of me because they think I don't know where I am. However, I actually have a really detailed map on my phone, which I kept hidden. <laughs> so we just came down here, so, so we did up here. Uh -huh. We came down 525. We're right here right now. So we're gonna head to Blackbird Knob. Um, he unfold my map. Yes. <laughs> this to the, oh, five, 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 four, then up to the, so. That's what, I was, that's what I was wondering, right there. So we're gonna go we're, we're, at 14. And at this point, I decided to have no input whatsoever on the direction of travel, as this was making excellent programming. Then take 514 down. To 554. I keep all of my maps in my head. See? Blindfolded. Camera on him. I love the pines. It smells so good. It actually smells like rain and mud. Where's 514? Right here. I think we walk a little bit up that way past. Oh, you want to see Blackbird now? Yeah, don't you? I'm scared. 
What is black bird knobs? Do you even know what we're gonna find or what we're even looking for? No. <laughs> Why don't you pull out your map and let me know? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know what black bird knob is. I don't either, but I, it's it's a big X on here, so I'm guessing it's a view of some sort. Okay. I don't know why. If it wasn't a view, yeah, they wouldn't have. I don't think it on they there. would put a big marker on the big X. So after arguing for a couple of minutes about what the big X on the map was in reference to, we decided to head down a trail that was completely out of our way to see a big X. Okay, let's go out check it out. It's only a little further up the trail, it's alright. <laughs> so as we started hiking down the trail that leads nowhere, we heard it. It sounded something like this. Wah! Yeah! Woo! Actually, here's what it really sounded like. And because I had no idea what I was walking into in the middle of nowhere, I for some reason decided to turn the camera off. But it turns out those noises were coming from our long lost fellow YouTuber, Mr. Bryce Newbold, who accidentally parked in the wrong spot last night because he didn't receive the last minute parking spot switcheroo text message. And got lost last night trying to find us. I uh, start hiking in and it's like really sketchy trail. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking no way these guys are going to do this at night. And I go in a little bit, and the sun's going down, and I start losing the trail. I'm like, dude, this, no, I'm going back. Yeah. So yeah. I start going back, and I am out of sunlight, and I am lost. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, freaking lost. Oh. So I just pitched, pitched the tent, had a horrible night's sleep. <laughs> Beautiful campsite. I mean, on top, like, it was nice. And oh. then um, I finally got my GPS to load and figure out how to, you know, which way to go and stuff, and trying to go off my compass. And, uh... Well, I just started heading southeast and hit Bear Rocks Trail. But yeah. I didn't know what trail it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I drop my pack. I run to the trailhead like a half mile. And all it says is Red Creek. And the map is so, like, there's nothing on the map. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. You can't even tell where you are. Yeah. So then I come back. So then I get my pack. I go back down to where Dobbin Grade intersects. And then I was all confused. And I ended up going <laughs> the wrong way. I went north, Holy so when I got my GPS to load again, I was like a mile north of the sods. Oh my god. So then I just came back down, I ran into two guys uh, in a campsite, they showed me where I was on Bear Rocks, yeah. and then I've just been booking Oh this my way. god. But I just popped down, like I came down Raven Ridge, uh, Upper Red Creek, and I just stopped for two seconds and I heard voices. Oh, no So way. then I started coming this way and I just talked to a guy and he said, yeah, I heard some voices this way. What are the so, chances? I do. That yeah, is we like, almost didn't come down here. I know. Right. I, yeah, we almost so, didn't. Is come, there a view oh, like right here? Is there the is, Black Rock? That or Black Black, rock, black uh, Bird Knob? No, so, Black Bird Knob is not a view. No, so, I'm gonna backtrack that. So we bickered up there about because I thought that that Black Bird Knob was a view, but I somebody mean, didn't want to walk. Seriously, oh, yeah. that is to me. If it wasn't for you, we yeah, wouldn't we would have heard your loud mouth. I heard somebody yell. Sixty frames. That one, slow that one down. So we finally found our other, uh, well, it, it was supposed to be a bunch of other hikers, but it turned out to be a lone hiker, and we just happened to go down a trail, and guess who we ran into? <laughs> so go check out Bryce Newbold's channel. He actually makes good backpacking videos, unlike me, and I'm sure his video will be quite interesting. <laughs> That's Bryce Newbold. I know some of you guys know who he is. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Chances of us finding him out here. We were supposed to uh, all meet up at the same place, but ended up uh, some people didn't get the message at the last minute and parked at a different location, but uh, we're all here now. So this is it. Now we're arguing over uh, directions. Which will take you back to the car. Got it. Okay. So we're about the halfway point then. Okay. Bryce, I feel comfortable with you because you're like the master of Dallas Sides, even though you did get lost this morning. Yeah. <laughs> 554 you're showing? It's, no, it's before 554. See, that's all right. Now, we made one for a 55. So we're hopefully heading up the lion's head, and that's the way up. Oh, this water tastes terrible. Oh, well. First thing I'm doing is downing all my whiskey. All right, I'm gonna do this with the camera. If there's nothing after this, it means I dropped the camera. It's a lot steeper than it looks. Ugh. 
picture. It's that one, right? No, no, no. I say we camp right here. <laughs> yeah, I think those are hawks. I don't think they're like oh. turkey vultures. You made it, buddy. Oh, nice. It's very pretty here. Wow, yeah. It's awesome. What? What's wrong? No yeah. space on memory cards. Dane and I mean, I should be like dead right now if, if I wasn't like ready for this. Yeah. Well, we're gonna try and make it around the lion's head now. Hopefully, we can find it. Something tells me this isn't the official way up here. So, you would think that a giant rock outcropping that literally looks like a lion's head would be relatively easy to find. Well, I found a Karen. Did you really? I'm just making it up. Oh. Make you guys feel better. I think we made it because <laughs> there's nothing higher other than that but is this it this is it right uh it looks like it, is that it? i think so because you can see the the lion somewhat yeah it just doesn't seem as big as it did in the pictures yeah i don't think that's it yeah that's what i thought yeah yeah, yeah this like this is too low this is too low Yes, isn't it? There's the pine. And I think Lion's Head is actually right there. I still don't know where Lion's Head is. I'm just kind of aimlessly walking. Oh. It's a big crevasse. I'm just glad we can see something and we're not covered in fog. Yeah, I'd say it's probably... Or wait, we were just on those. For the ones we were on, right? No, or, no. Yeah. All right, we're lost. Yeah, we finally made it. Well, we're off to find camp, I think. I don't know, I'm just tagging along. Well, we finally found a camp. Got campsite all set up. Got a much better site tonight than I did last night. Last night was terrible. I was like falling off to one side the entire night, but um, got a nice flat spot for tonight, so it will definitely help. Hopefully the uh, the weather will hold off. It's really nice now, but they're calling for thunderstorms later around five. So uh, I guess we'll see, but uh, we're ready for the rain when it does or if it does hit. So I think we're gonna maybe get something to eat and uh, just relax. It's still early. I think it's like uh, only, What time is it? Yeah, it's only like 2.20, 2.30. So we got a lot of time to hang out here. So pretty cool. I guess we'll check in later. Just got a fire going. Well, I didn't get the fire going. I think Adam got the fire going. But it's kind of buggy here. Hopefully the fire will help with that. You know, that burr -ish or whatever. Mm -hmm. That'd be really cool. Yeah. I'd like to see what it looks like here in the fall. Because I've literally... Coffee, cigarette. Life doesn't get better. You gonna do the Kramer? What's the Kramer? <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta drink it with the cigarette in your mouth. Oh. I can't do that. <laughs> so yeah. Get it. Yeah, we're just uh, sitting around having a nice chat by the campfire. Oh man. And do you want to just reiterate what you said? I think, <laughs> what? Yeah, I think all what was the that YouTubers that you just want to know. <laughs> well, no one's going to watch it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a good time. Perfect weather so far. I think we've, we're going to miss the rain. Well, I, say the, I say that and it's coming. It's coming. But as long as it comes after everybody's settled in, that's fine. This is pretty much the life. Super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> we just had here for four hours not talking this is the first yeah, that time was. alex has actually <laughs> talked <laughs> <laughs>
I've just been observing. Alex has had a knife in his back pocket, and he, I think he wants to commit Kama Sutra. <laughs> Harry Carey. Yeah, Kama Sutra. <laughs> it's just, Kama Sutra is something completely yeah. different. I don't know how much more I'll film tonight, considering I didn't film much tonight in the first place. I might see you again, and I might see you tomorrow as I'm driving home. So much fun. <sighs> I can't believe we've been sitting here for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what a campfire will do. Yeah. Sit around and stare at it for seven, six, seven hours. This is the best TV on uh Time TV. just flies by. Well, I'm gonna eat dinner and hopefully stay dry. Guess we'll see you tomorrow. It's about 7.30, just packing up here. I uh, got about, I think, four miles back to the car. Had a really good night's sleep. It rained pretty much all night. Um, although I did, we did go to sleep at like 8 o'clock last night, and then I, I woke up at like 3.30 3 in the morning and couldn't fall back to sleep for like an hour and a half. Woke up last night to a deer, like, standing right there. So that was kind of interesting. But um, yeah, other than that, no thunderstorms, nothing like that. So I guess we got about four miles out to the car, four or five miles, and um, should be fun. Should be fun. Should be fun. We're off back to the car. Had a pretty good night, I think. I think everybody had a pretty good night, but seems uh, since we all went to bed at like eight o'clock, everybody woke up at three o'clock in the morning and was ready to go. And capture the restless one in this natural habitat. Alex? Alex? Alex! Wait, because he parked the opposite side. Yeah. Always fun. Bryce, Good. it was real, buddy. Yeah. Happy you found us. I'm so glad I found you it guys. It was a miracle. <laughs> it was an absolute <laughs> was. miracle. So what do you got, about 10 miles to the car now? 10 miles. It's going to okay. be a, a haul today. Wow. We're going to do it. Start running, buddy. Yeah, I'll do a little bit of running. No, now for the camera so it looks dramatic. <laughs> bye. You have to? Yes, go bye. See you guys. <laughs> At this point, as I'm sitting here editing, I still haven't seen Bryce's video, but I'm really interested in seeing it because he had a completely different adventure than we did. Oh, well, we just say goodbye to Bryce. Hopefully he makes it back okay in one piece. Doesn't get lost again. And uh, hopefully we don't get lost on the way back. And uh, turn our nice leisurely hike into a 15 mile adventure. That wouldn't be fun. Yeah, I'm sure by now you can see where this is headed. Team. This is 513 here? This is 513 here. Okay, so we gotta go down 513, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So. This is the way that they wanted to go, all the way down to the bottom of the mountain and across the river. However, according to the map that I kept hidden on my phone and my GPS, it actually said to go the other way. But I followed along because I thought it would make good programming. But where does that continue to? I don't know. It doesn't show it on there. Oh, we know 513. 513 is what we want to do to get home. Let's get it. I let them go first and hung out towards the back so I could get all the good footage. And as soon as we started heading down the mountain, it started pouring down rain. And it was an ice cold rain. It's supposed to be a cool waterfall somewhere, but... I was wrong. Oh, we, uh, you were wrong? I think this is the face of a guy who knows he's headed in the wrong direction. So, I think we should have passed it up by now. You're going to throw water across. I guess we passed it. That's the river we got to cross. Oh, oh yeah, that's going to be fun. Alright, I got to do this with like no hands. I should have put the camera away. I was so worried about my camera. We got bad news. Oh no. We went the wrong way. Oh no. We gotta go back? I don't know. Let's look here. What we can do is take this 514 and walk along the river. We're gonna have to cross it again. And then take 553 and 
Okay. And this is the face of a guy who regrets knowingly heading in the wrong direction. Oh, we uh, got lost. Like I was saying earlier, hopefully we don't get lost. Oh well, I'm already soaked. Gotta change the dry clothes at the car. So then the restless one decided to take the lead, but the trail just dead ended into the river. Alright, we're going back. We're like, uh, we're lost. The problem is the trails aren't marked and uh, they're not super worn in, so it's hard to tell where the trail is. We definitely don't want to get lost out here like this. So now you can see that I'm the one in the lead right now, and I got us right back on track. Hey, the temperature's dropping 20 degrees. I know, it's, it's so cold. Ah, uh, see, they were all making, making fun of the hat earlier. Now. <laughs> yeah, we're just like completely just bulldozing through the forest. Well, we just crossed the river again. We're going back to where we uh, made our first mistake. So we gotta go back up the mountain here. So here's a word of advice. If you ever plan on coming to the Dali Sides, none of the trails are marked. I'm gonna repeat that. None of the trails are marked. You cannot rely on trail markers because none of the trails are marked. So bring a good map and a compass, maybe a GPS, a sat phone, a hard line with a direct connection to search and rescue. All are probably good decisions. All right, so there's the trail we went down. It goes all the way down to the river. And over here, the, chair, the trail we were supposed to go down. I don't even care. I won't even have the strength to fight you off. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah, Yeah, that waterfall we were talking about earlier, we found it. Turns out, <laughs> turns out it doesn't exist on the other trail. Wow. Camera definitely doesn't do that justice. Stream crossing. Well, I'll tell you one thing, you are not keeping dry feet when you come here. Whether it's raining or not, it's just tons of stream and river crossings. It's always fun. I think we made it. I think everybody's happy about that. Coming up on our uh, original campsite from night one. Keep going straight. So here's our original site from night one. I'm just happy we don't have to spend the night huddled under a pine tree. I would have kept you warm, buddy. <laughs> Quite the adventure. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. That four miles turned into 12. Yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah. that 513, that's a treacherous trail, man. Yeah. Oh, we made it back. Both vehicles are still there. It's always a good sign. And the windows are intact. It's another good sign. What do you think? That Any was. last words? My last words were, <laughs> it was an awesome pleasure to hike with you, sir. It was yep. great. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy that you are out able to get out of knife making to Embrace us with your presence. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, it was a great trip. Yeah, it was, it was pretty right fun. Now, but... Yeah, uh, looks like I'm gonna change into some dry clothes and uh, do the four and a half hour drive back. Don't forget to uh, check out Restless Outdoors and Bryce Newbold and Timmy. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, but go check him out anyway. And I guess we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you guys if you were ever wondering what it was actually like to hike with other YouTubers. Well, Go check out their videos because they're all making videos too and I'm sure their videos are going to be much better than mine because that's what they actually do is they make hiking, backpacking, YouTube videos. Don't forget to go check out their channel and subscribe to their channel as well. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, dislike it. And we'll see you in the next video. Yes, the next night video is coming soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.